So new polling data has came out that shows that Democratic voters are now more likely to support foreign wars than Republican voters. This is newsworthy because it's been for years the idea that Democrats were the party of peace and Democratic politicians and mouthpiece would say that it was the Republicans that were pushing for war and now we see the exact opposite. Now as always we should take polls with a grain of salt but I think it is worth talking about if this is true and you could see this being reflected out on uh, media and that when you talk to people of what they think. The crux is that the change happened when Trump started to recommend pulling out of Afghanistan and Syria. When that happened, you started to see Democrats just say, Democratic voters just say, no, 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 we want to stay. Almost like they have a gut reaction to just be against anything Trump says. Which is funny because that's the meme. If Trump said water's good, then Democrats would say water's bad. Well, here we have the party of Pete's, all these people that just 10 years, 13 years ago were with me saying that we should pull out of Iraq and that it was a legal war, now cheering to stay in places like Afghanistan and Syria. So this is Glenn Greenwald from The Intercept wrote this. Glenn's someone who's uh, kind of a progressive who's against a lot of these foreign wars, and he's been warning for a long time that all of this Russia, Russia, Russia screaming by the Democrats was actually going to do damage and make their base more jingoistic and militaristic and he's very much opposed to that uh, he like me thinks that there's an irony that the very intel communities that these same democrats used to rail against that got us into the iraq war are not only cheered for by the democrats but are actually being told by the mouthpieces in the media the democratic mouthpieces to even criticize these intel communities as un-american so here's some of his article it says while official Washington is united in opposition, new polling data from Morning Consult Politico shows a large plurality of Americans support Trump's Syria withdrawal announcement. 49% support it, while 33% have opposition. However, what is remarkable about the new polling data on Syria is that the vast bulk of support for keeping troops there comes from Democratic Party voters, while Republicans and independents overwhelmingly favor their removal. The numbers are stark. Of people who voted for Clinton in 2016, only 26% of support withdrawing troops from Syria, while 59% oppose it. Trump voters overwhelmingly support the withdrawal by 76% to 14%. A similar gap is seen for those who voted Democrat in 2008 midterm elections. 28% support withdrawal, uh, uh, while 54% oppose it, as opposed to the widespread withdrawal among GOP, 2008 GOP voters, 74% to 18%. Now, the article goes on to say what's ironic is, and the numbers are the same with the Afghanistan withdrawal, the uh, numbers are... Republicans and independents overwhelmingly support now withdrawing from Afghanistan. The Democrats now support staying there. And he says that what this is uh, ironic about this is actually when Obama was president, the numbers were the exact opposite for Democratic voters, where people supported withdrawing troops from Afghanistan. And let's not forget, Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. This is something I've been talking about a lot. The idea was that this was the party of peace. Obama was a man of peace. We didn't want all these foreign wars. And the most insidious thing happened, and Greenwald goes on to say, I recommend everyone read the entire article, goes on to say, that's what's so insidious about this. Picture you're the neocons and you want all these Iraq wars and Afghanistan wars and everything like that. And so you see the massive backlash that occurs uh, 2005 and beyond with people being upset about the wars, feeling we were led into the war in Iraq and it was a lie. You had all of the cultural institutions talking about how immoral and how terrible that war was, including academia. You had all these celebrities saying it. You had all the media people talking about how we're sorry, we should have did more. Uh, we should have just taken the intel community at their word. We should have done more, but they're terrible, immoral people. And so if you're the Republicans at that point, or you're a neocon, and you want more wars like this, what do you do? Well, you favor, you end up getting someone who's a neo-lib that goes in that's seen as the most peaceful person, someone who wins a Nobel Peace Prize in his first year, and pushes the exact same warmongering policies. And now the change is so complete because the gut reaction of Democratic voters is so strong to be anti-Trump that they'll actually favor war instead of uh, just to oppose Trump, which is abs absolutely crazy. Now, clearly this isn't all Democrats, but you can see this in the media and you can see this with the people say. Glenn goes on. With Trump rather than Obama now advocating troop withdrawal from Afghanistan, all this has changed. New polling data shows far more support the troop withdrawal among Republicans and independents, while Democrats are evenly split and even opposed. Among 2016 Trump voters, there's massive support for withdrawal, 81% to 11%. Clinton voters, however, opposed the removal of troops in Afghanistan by a margin of 37 in favor to 47 opposed to the withdrawal. It's 
literally hinged on Trump saying that he wanted to make these withdrawals, and that's when these numbers started to change. He goes on. Democrats were more or less evenly divided early last year on whether the U.S. should continue to intervene in Syria. All of that changed once Trump announced his intention to withdraw, which provoked a huge surge in Democrats supporting remaining. Those who voted for Democrat Clinton now say by a 42-point margin that the U.S. has a responsibility to stay and do something about ISIS. While Trump voters said by a 16-point margin the nation has no such responsibility. Now, as I argued in some of my other videos, this idea is insane. Basically, we are in Syria arming Islamic terror groups along with other rebels to fight Assad and now the argument is to pull out would make Islamic terror groups like ISIS stronger why if we just let Assad wipe them out that wouldn't be the case but the point is that it's becoming very troubling now that we're seeing that not only just the mainstream Democrat establishment party still advocating for the same things they always have because my argument is they're basically the same as the neocon establishment Republicans but now you're actually see they've started to convince voters. It's very Orwellian that merely because they dislike Trump that now they'll favor these foreign wars. So remember that the next time you hear about what party is moral and what party is the party of peace, when it's now starting to look like the Democrats, merely because they dislike Trump are and are going to have a gut reaction against anything he suggests, are now going to favor foreign regime change wars. Now, even if you think that you have good reasons and you're an anti-Trump person who thinks we should stay there, remember... This used to be the platform of the Democratic Party. This used to, especially their voters, that they were anti-war. And ever since the Obama years, we could see that that totally changed. And now with Trump, it's even worse. So uh, what, what a tool, you know, to be able to get people to support wars. Just have Trump suggest withdrawing, and then all of a sudden the Democrats are all for him. So, hey, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Recommend me to some other people. And uh, have a good one.